What's good, YouTube? It's Untold Insights. And I know I've been gone for a while, and I'm truly sorry for that. But I will be more consistent from now on. I have received a lot of messages and stuff like that, and I try to respond to everybody's message. Hopefully, I got to everybody and I didn't miss anybody. Also, there's a few things I'd like to clarify before I get into the review of this product. A lot of people have been hitting me up about certain things that I've reviewed already and they asked me about the word high. I've already explained the difference what I'm trying to do on this channel compared to other channels. I'm not trying to make this a channel just to tell people what gets you high and stuff like that. You want that information? Go over to somebody that reviews weed and stuff like that and they'll give you that information. I'm not doing this channel just to give away things to say, oh man, this gets you high and stuff like that. No, this is not what this channel's for. This channel is pretty much to help people with everyday life things like um, to relax you. It's also to help you with your mood, uh, anxiety, stress, things like that that I could help you share some things that work for me and maybe could work for you. This is what this channel is going to be based on and then overall just random talk on things that I feel that would be, I mean, beneficial to people. It's not going to be, oh man, this is a legal high or this, none of that shit, man, okay? And I'm not going to be giving you guys any products that have any type of synthetics and garbage like that in it. So don't expect no reviews on no fucking spices or anything like that. Like I said, you want that bullshit? Go find that shit somewhere else because there's a bunch of other fucking guys that do that shit. And they give all types of misleading information and stuff like that. And they don't even know what the fuck is in their products half the time. And they just give out blab, blab, blab about stuff. And they just sound fucking stupid when they talk. Okay? Like I said, um, and also with the high comments, like I said, guys, these products affect people differently. What you may think is high may not be high to somebody else. Okay. Whenever I do a review on a nerve or something like that, I'm not saying that it's going to get you. I just say that it gives you a feeling, either a feeling of euphoric or a feeling of uh, happiness or a feeling of calm, relaxation. Do remember, euphoric doesn't just necessarily mean high. You could feel euphoric listening to music. You could feel euphoric, I mean, meditating. You could do. You could feel euphoric even doing fucking yoga. So, guys, understand this, okay? I'm telling you this for you won't sound stupid when you're writing these messages saying, Hey, man, I want to get high. Does this fucking get me high? Stop it, please. Like I say, other channels, man, they give out that randomness over there, okay? Now we're going to get into this review. The cool thing about this review, it's a relaxation strip, okay? For those who don't know what are strips, they're kind of like when you go to the supermarket or to the pharmacy. You've seen those little, little Listerine strips that you put under your tongue or whatever and they dissolve and they give you good breath? Well, this is a relaxation one that I've actually come across. Um, the name of the one I tried is called Lizard Licks. There's also the same other one with just a different name called Monkey Melts. Same packaging, same ingredients, same dosage, same everything. Pretty much just different characters. Like I said, one's a lizard, one's the monkey. I tried the lizard because that's the only one I found. I found this product very weird, man. Because at um, I was smoking hookah, right? And pretty much I don't smoke anymore. So uh, I went into a smoke shop and pretty much they had it there. And I was like, oh, what was that? And the guy was like, oh, check this out. I looked at the back because that's the first thing I look at. I look at the ingredients to make sure there's none of that synthetic shit or any of that spice bullshit in it. Because, you know, quickly, the hell, man, this will make you feel. Like I say, I take a look, do the research before I buy it. And pretty much the only ingredient in there was melatonin. And anybody that doesn't know what melatonin is, melatonin is something that we have inside us. It's kind of like a hormone and which it does, it helps us sleep. We produce this, right? Now, taking too much of it can cause insomnia, which means you won't be able to sleep and you'll be very restless at night. For those people that have that, you have to be very careful whenever you take melatonin. Like I said, you can't get insomnia and you can become very restless and you may not even get no sleep, period. And this could also occur with other herbs that I will be doing um, in the future, which is called Valeri root, that also can cause restlessness if and uh, insomnia if not used correctly as well. Those are just sizes matter for different people, so use with caution. And like I say, everybody, do your research before you try any product, even products that I say are cool. Do the research anyway, because like I say, I may not be allergic to a specific product or an herb, and somebody might be. Like uh, something that's soft and um, and gentle like chamomile it's ragweed i mean people that suffer from ragweed which is uh, allergies and stuff like that you give them uh chamomile which is part of the daisy family they could actually have 
problems, I mean, breathing and stuff like that. So just be careful how you use herbs. And like I said, do your research. Make sure you're not allergic. And use always with caution, everybody. And please, do not relate everything to getting high. Everything is different. Enjoy it. Go in open-minded and you won't be let down. Go in there close-minded and say, hey, it didn't make me feel like you know what. Well, it's not you know what. Okay, so stop comparing it to you know what. Okay, plain and simple. That's it. Now, 24 strips in the little package, which is cool. Like I said, the same identical thing like a Listerine strip. 24 of them. Each single strip contains 1.5 milligrams of melatonin. One of them doesn't work for me. Might work for you. That you have to play around and find what's right for you. I found two, maybe even three. It's great for me. After I took it, 15 or 45 minutes, somewhere in that duration, it kind of felt perfect. I started getting tired because I was laying down watching TV. And it actually put me right to sleep. Woke up in the morning, not feeling hangover, groggy, nothing like that. It was actually a good, nice piece of sleep. And then after that, like I said, I gave it a day, passed by, and then I tried it again. And then I had another day passed because I don't want to take something all the time because then you might build up tolerance. Remember, these ain't a product that are like some herbs. Some herbs have reverse tolerance, which means you can never build up tolerance. You know what I'm saying? It's not like weed. Weed, you smoke, and pretty much you build a tolerance. You need more and more and more. Okay, some of the herbs don't, but this is not an herb, this is melatonin. So being that we have it in our head, you can build up tolerance. So don't use this shit all the time. Just whenever you really can't sleep and you feel real restless, you could probably pop one or two and see how it works for you. Like I said, it worked perfect for me. And maybe you guys won't find the lizard strip, but remember, monkey melts. That's the other one that I saw that's pretty much identical to it. And they're kind of like from the same company. And they don't have really much a lot of flavor, so just expect mint. You know, pretty much like if you're gargling your mouth with uh, Listerine. That's what they taste like. So very powerful. You could actually uh, make out with a girl after that because it has such a freshing breath. Like you just brush your fucking teeth. So it's cool. Uh, like I said, I did this review. I thought it was a cool product. Maybe it could help somebody out there that has trouble sleeping. And uh, somebody that just wants to relax after a hard day's work. This would be cool because it'll help you. If you take one strip, I would actually feel that it would wind you down. It won't put you to sleep, but it'll get you nice and calm and peaceful. You know what I'm saying? So, like I said, I just wanted to share this with you guys. Hopefully, like I said, if any of you guys have seen this somewhere, and you're like, man, I wish somebody had reviews. Because I know they don't have any reviews on this on YouTube. And that's why I'm putting this out there. Maybe this could help out a few people and stuff like that. You guys got any comments or anything you want to know about this product or any other products that I'm reviewing? Send me a comment. But please, don't send me no dumb shit talking about, hey, man, is it going to get me high? Like I said, man, you want that shit? Go to those other fucking channel of fucking meatballs that talk all that fucking nonsense and don't even know half the time what the fuck they talk about. Okay, this channel is pretty much going to be based on, like I said, information on helping you with the relaxation, uh, stress, anxiety, uh, overall health, um, libidos and shit like that. If I could get my hands on some things to do, which I'm going to do on some aphrodisiac I already did, which was Demiana, but I got some other ones that I'm going to share for you guys and stuff like that. And uh, pretty much like that, man. And just also some random talks I'm going to be doing about some things that I find very interesting that I want to share with some people. Maybe some people want to talk back and forth. You guys let me know what you think and stuff like that. And I'd like to say thank you for everybody that's commented and liked my, my videos and reviews like that. You know, I don't really do this for anything. That's why I don't even show my face because there's no purpose in that because it's not about me. It's about the product and the information and the knowledge. I'm just trying to spread it and help people see. All right? It's your boy, uh, Untold Insight, everybody. Until the next review, everybody, stay in sight. All right? Peace and love.